Now in this lesson we're looking at percentages as fractions. We've done this before but this time we're using the calculator. Now remembering that percent means out of 100. So 87% would mean 87 out of 100. 9% means 9 out of 100. 12.5% would mean 12.5 out of 100. Now let's look at some examples. We're asked to change the following percentages to simple fractions. So firstly 80%. So on the calculator 80 over 100. We type that in using the fraction button which looks like the ABC button. That is 80 over 100. And you press equals you should get 4 fifths. Okay, The calculator should break that down, should simplify it to four fifths. Example two, 57 percent. Well again because it's a percentage it means out of 100. Now that 57 over 100 using the calculator 57 then the ABC the over button 100 press equals and if you do that you'll find that nothing happens. It stays as 57 over 100 because it can't be simplified it can't be broken down. So that is in fact our answer for that. 12.5%. Well, 12.5 as a fraction is 12 and a half, okay? It is a percentage, so it's over 100. Now, 12 and a half on your calculator, type in the 12, then the ABC, then the 1, the ABC again, then the 2. That is 12 and a half. Now, it is over 100. But if you try to type in the ABC then the 100 and press equals, you will most probably get an error. Okay, nearly all calculators there, you'll get an error. We can't use that fraction button again like that. So what we need to do is remembering that also over 100 means to divide by 100. So in place of that, we're going to hit the divide button there. So if we try that now, the 12 and a half divided by 100, press equals, we should get one eighth. Now, 56.25 percent. Write that as a simple fraction. Well, 56 and a quarter is the same as 56.25. It's a percent, so we put it over 100. Now, it's a similar question to the one above it. 56 and one quarter. We'll be writing as 56, then the fraction bar, one, then the fraction again. Four. So that reads as 56 and one quarter. Now it's over 100, which means to divide by 100. And if we do that calculation, press equals, we end up with 9 sixteenths. Terrific. There is an alternative way though. Let's, let's check this one out. 56.25%. On your calculator, try this. 56.25% divided by 100, press equals. Now you should get a decimal answer at this stage, 0 0.5625. Now on some calculators, to change that decimal to a simple fraction, if you press now the ABC button, the fraction button, it may change it to 9 sixteenths. Right? Not all calculators will do that, but some of them will. Now if you press the ABC button again, it, it changes it back to 0 0.5625, so it alternates between the fraction and the decimal. Percentages as decimals. Examples. We need to change the following percentages to decimals. The first example is 80%. Well, 80% means 80 over 100. And using the calculator, we're going to press 80 divided by 100. And in doing that, we get 0 0.8, so we have a decimal answer. 34%. Well, that means 34 over 100. And using the calculator, press 34 divided by 100. Pressing equals, we get 0 0.34. Example 3, 8%. Well, 8% means 8 over 100. And on the calc, 8 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.08. Our fourth and final example, 18 and three quarters percent. 
Well, 18 and 3 quarter over 100. Now, if we have 18 and 3 quarters divided by 100, we are going to get 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. But we want our answer as a decimal. So to do that, we hit the ABC button and it will change it to a decimal form. So 0 0.1875. Excellent.